my video. Um, this afternoon I'm going to be uh, going over with you on how to take a Freemic boot uh, from one memory card and installing it to another memory card. Now the reason for doing this is guys PS2 memory cards do fail and you definitely really want to make a backup because if anybody's went through what I went through and uh, installing this Freemic boot on to my, my PS2 uh, then you definitely want to make a backup. I had to literally take my fat PS2 apart to expose the, uh, the drive. I had, to, yeah, I had to go on the computer, I had to create two uh, DVD discs here. Uh, one's a cog swap and the other one's a U-Launch PS2. Uh, now the cog swap I had to create with a uh, program called Hex Edit and that, that, was, that was a project there, I tell you what. And pretty much what this does, you had to use this disc first, and I had to actually boot up a, a PS2 uh, game, and once it spools up, uh, there's a moment where it starts slowing back down, and that's when you gotta hurry up, quickly take it out, and swap it over with this. Pretty much tricking the PS2 into thinking that it's still running the PS2 game, but it's actually booting up this. It's kind of like a virus, same way a virus works. Uh, something like that, you know. Yeah, it's running something that it thinks it's running one thing but it's actually running something else uh, but but anyway I mean this this literally took me all day and that's no joke guys and as soon as I got done with this I immediately made two backups and I got them stashed in my closet in the other room in there now so uh, not only do you want to make a backup for yourself, but you can also help other people out, your friends or whatever, if they want Freemic Boot installed on theirs, what, like five, ten minutes, you can have it installed on theirs just like that. So, uh, let's get started here. You're basically, basically going to need four things. Uh, of course, you're going to need a, uh, a blank uh, PS2 memory card. I've got an eight megabyte card here. Uh, I've got a flash drive right here we're going to use and also a, uh, a memory card, PS2 memory card with Freemium Boot already installed on it and you will also need a, uh, a, a website to where you can in, uh, get this certain package, it's called a newbie package where you can, uh, where you have to install it on the here. Now, uh, if you'll follow me here on the computer, uh, what we have here, I'll pull up this. Now this is the site you need to be on. Uh, this is called uh, SKS Apps. Uh, this is where I get a lot of things at here. But what you want to do, you want to go down to PS2 Apps right there. And then you want to... Uh, click on exploits there. So we're going to click on exploits and it will bring you to this page. Now it should be the very first one here, Freemic Boot 1.8 Newbie Package. Uh, and as you can see in the description, this package already has the, all the recommended apps, uh, all the goodies that you need uh, to install like the ECR, the system, uh, simple system media player, or whatever you want to call it, um, already on there. So, so all you do is just click that, it, it, it immediately download, you just extract your files, and I will show you how to install those. I'm going to go ahead and hook my flash drive up here. Access granted comes up and all you would do like I said just extract it and here's the package right here uh, now in this package you have all these files here uh, if you go into your install folder it already has like it in the description that was on the website there it all has all the necessary files the SMS HD loader the ESR and the boot dot else so we're, we're, you're pretty good to go on that 
So now, once you get that done and all, uh, we're ready to uh, go over to the uh, PS2. And uh, I'll, okay, well, just follow me over to the PS2. I'll show you how to do this. Okay. All right, guys. Now it's time for me to show you how to actually install Freemic Boot onto another memory card. Um, I have here, I've already got my... Uh, Freemic boot memory card installed here in slot one and here's my blank uh, 8 megabytes PlayStation memory card here that we're going to install uh, Freemic boot on so I'm going to install it and I've got my flash drive here we're going to install it real quick and uh, and then we'll boot this thing up <clears throat> Sorry about the video. Uh, I gotta record this with my phone, so it kind of sucks. But anyway, I think it'll work. First things first, I will show you. I go into the browser here and show you that I have on slot one. I do have Freemic Boot installed on this one. Now where's that? There it is, boot folder. There's free boot right there. That's in slot one. I go back, go to this one here. No data whatsoever. Completely blank. Okay, now what we're do, we have to go into our U Launch Elf and boot it up. Hit O. Now I want to scroll down uh, to your uh, your flash drive, which is math, and you hit the O button to go into that. And there's our newbie package right there. Hit your O button. Scroll down once more. Hit your O button, and there's our files. What you want to do is scroll down to uh, freemicboot.elf and hit the O button. And here we go. Um, what we want to do, you got a couple of uh, options up here at the top. You have uh, a normal install, multi-version, launch FMCB, FMCB configurator, format MC, or uninstall uh, multi-version. What you want to do, I would go with the, uh, the second one here multi-version install that way like say if you go over to a friend's house and they have a different version PSP not PSP what am I talking about uh, PS2 than you have you know this will allow you to uh, boot up premix boot on theirs also so uh, I usually go with that so what you want to do is just uh, hit your X button and uh, it asks you uh, two memory cards detected which one to use. What you want to do is go to slot 2, hit your X button. Now it says this will install Freemic Boot multi-version on memory card 2. Continue and you want to hit OK. <clears throat> and now just let it do its thing. It's copying over right now. Installing all the necessary files. <clears throat> It's pretty easy, actually. It beats the mess that I have to go through to put it online. I tell you that right now. I'll never do that again. But just uh, wait a few seconds. It takes it takes a minute or two. It don't take that long, but. Patching. 
And there we go. It says uh, free mic boot installed successfully on memory card two. You, what you're going to do is hit OK, and you simply just uh, we can just restart it. Okay, now we go into our browser here, and I'll show you. Now, you remember slot one had the uh, Freemic boot installed. This one didn't. Now we're going to go into this one. And as you can see, we got the system config there. We got the boot. And we got Freemic boot also installed. Now, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to take, now this is slot one, I'm going to take this out, put it on top, I'm going to move this one over to slot one, because that's the one we copied over the uh, Freemic boot, and we're going to start it up. And there we go. Freemic boot is now installed on the other memory card. Very simple, guys. Very simple. So uh, if you have a friend or anybody who needs this, needs this done, you now have a video. Um, it's very simple, and it really helped them out. So uh, I hope it helped you out. And guys, shoot, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.